you watched all those converter PC power supply to a bench supply videos on YouTube but can't be bothered to do it yourself? I've got something that will make it really easy for the lazy man, just like me. Yeah, all those build your own power supplies from an old computer power supply, which involved taking the thing to pieces, cutting wires, joining things together, finding the right leads, messing around. Why not make it simple? Just buy a ready-made board from China. That's what I did. So let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got here a standard sort of banana plug board. Some of these connectors look a bit bent and iffy. It's, it's not particularly super quality, I'll have to admit, but it does break out. Your minus 12, your plus 12, your plus 5, and your plus 3.3, .3, and puts them out to banana terminals. No, they're just standard wire wrap terminals, but they do have fuses on each of the outputs. It's got a USB socket, which will probably come straight off the 5 volt line, and it's got a switch to say off and on, so you don't have to even worry about jumpering wires. So let's give this a test, shall we? First of all, you're going to need a computer power supply. So there we are. Here's one I stole, uh, I bought earlier. And it uses a standard connector, and this just plugs straight in the front like that. Let's bring in a multimeter, just so that uh, you can see what's going on. And it might hold the board a little bit steadier as well. So we're going to be all measuring DC here. So at the moment we've got mains input onto the power supply and if I just stand these in there, hopefully they'll make contact with something and flick the switch to on. Right, minus 3.3 because I've got the leads the wrong way around. I've got no light on the 5 volt rail, but there is 5 volts DC there. I've got 11.85 on the 12 volt rail and I've got a light and I've got minus 11.9 so minus 12 volts on the negative 12 rhyme apart from two leds which are ah there we go that's a bad connection let's have a little fiddle with that and see if that comes live is it the yeah it's the uh, resistor that's not wired in correctly there. There you go, a nice easy how to build a quick power supply without having to do any work. There's your computer power supply, there's your board, lovely and quick, nice and easy. If you have any comments leave them below. I shall look up how much this board cost. Five pounds gets you a ready-made board that may or may not need some work on it. OK, for those of you who think £5 is too much to pay for a board to test a few power supplies, there is another way of doing it. All you need is something to short out two pins. And if you look in the line of wires here, you've got a green wire. All you've got to do is short that one to any black wire and the power supply turns on. Now, what you can do is use a pair of pliers, whatever. Now, if I get the multimeter in shot and just go to volts DC we put the negative in on whichever pin we like and once we've shorted out the the two main pins the green and the black I'm just using the leg of component here green and black you can then use your ordinary multimeter to quickly test all your voltages so you've got your minus on blue, minus 12. You've got your three volts on orange. And on your red, you have your five volts. And that's how you can quickly test a PC power supply. You don't have to worry about these wires because they're actually all paralleled up inside the power supply unit itself. If I put that negative in there, I can go to the 3.3 volts there, I can go to the negative 12 there, I can go to the plus 5 there, 
I can go to the, uh, what's the other one, yellow, which is plus 12, there you go. And that's still in there because they are all commoned up inside the power supply unit. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you've got any other suggestions of what you can do with an old power supply, I can think of a few, but they're not publishable, then let me know. Yeah, a nice little add-on to your power supply, just make it nice and easy. Who needs to sit there and drill holes and put knobs and just if you want to charge something on USB or if you need a cheap, quick 12 volt supply at 15 amps, then you've got your old computer power supply. Yeah, if you like this video, tell me what you think. If you like to see more of this Chinese stuff, yeah, by all means. I'm not getting involved in any big projects at the moment because we're still in the process of building the new workshop. And when that's finished, we shall be uh, moving everything in and you'll see some more of the vintage radio restorations and some of the other larger projects which I've got in mind. But until then, I'm going to wish you all the best, say thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, leave comments, tell me how much you love the videos and watch one of my other ones over here and YouTube will pick one down there. Thanks very much. See you again. Bye for now.